Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane and Melody. And today we're from Marion, Virginia. Yeah, so we got a new little member with us. <laughs> so we were back on the road, but we are making some changes. Yeah. So bear with us. You hear a third person chime in, it's not a ghost. Uh, this is, just a little one. Just a little one. But just get on the road before we get her froze. All right. Well, before we even hit town, you gotta stop at the world famous dip dog right that's right can you say you've been to marion if you hadn't ate a dip dog i don't think you can I honestly now melody as we all know is a little strange She's got the dip dog with no mustard. I don't yes. know how you can even eat that. Ketchup. A, that is an abomination. I'm a ketchup gal myself. Oh yeah. I like mustard oh. and some good stuff. You oh. know, word on the street is that Aerosmith came here. This is that's not a word on the street. It's the truth. Well. True story. It's still a word on the street. Here's the real dip dog true. right here. With mustard. With mustard. So. That's okay. <laughs> Goodbye, dip dog. It's been nice. Okay, that was great food, wasn't it? Yeah, that was really good. We'll start off this mural. It's gorgeous. It reflects the Songs of the Mountain that they have at Lincoln Theater. You're a big fan of the fact that you have lots of trail cuts through here. Uh -huh. You can hear those motorcycles, the back of the dragon. Yes, back of the dragon. We've done a video on it itself, but just gotta mention it goes from Castle to Marion. So. Yes. Let's get on the road. All right. Yeah, and you can talk a little bit more about Hungry Mothers. Yes. I think that that could be its own video, honestly. Yeah, yeah we'll probably come back um, this summer, hopefully. Yeah, we want to get into that more. But if you're super anxious to hear that story, then you need to buy our book. Yes, which is right here. Right Legends. Here. I'll make it here. <laughs> Trust me. I know it looks really weird right now. <laughs> Legends and lore of Southwest Virginia by Shane Simmons and Melody West. That's so. right. Check it out. You can get them on Amazon or find retailers anywhere or directly through us. Local store. Local store, local bookstores have them here in Southwest Virginia. So. If you buy it through us, then we will gladly find it for you too. We've done plenty of those. Yes. So outside of the courthouse here, the Smith County Courthouse is where the story of the crying tree takes place very sad story and what happened there was a little girl named sarah elizabeth sally adams was five years old when she and her family were sold at a slave auction outside of the courthouse here thomas thurman whose house was nearby had bought sally to be a body servant for his sickly wife a slave owner from Lynchburg purchased Sally's mother, who she never saw again, and her siblings. In later years, Sally told her children that when possible, she would slip out of the house and cry next to a white oak tree in the yard. She would sometimes hug the tree and tell it about her burdens. It just makes me so sad, especially now being a mother, to think of a little girl like that. Just grieving her mom and just yeah. come across that story and it just really grasps my heartstrings. Now we're looking at the glorious, the beautiful, the wonderful Lincoln Theater. Yes, and fitting Ed Bass Masters there. So <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> I love that. I wish I could have made that show. But... Yes, me too. They got some good shows going. They really do. Uh, this place is, drove a lot of traffic downtown. Yes. We found experience good tonight even, but they do the songs of the mountain mountain music from here that you see on PBS and yeah. a lot of shows like that but the theater itself goes back to 1929 it actually shut down in 1977 and was lovingly restored and reopened in 2004 and now it's back to its glory and on the inside it's themed like a Mayan village so it's really cool yeah. got a Mayan cool theme so yeah very cool hope to catch a show there soon too Francis Marion Hotel which goes back to 1927 so apparently most of this downtown area was built up in the 1920s. And of course it's named for General Francis Marion, who was a Revolutionary War hero. And also the namesake of the town. Yes. You may be surprised to hear this, but I've actually stayed here once. Awesome. They had the really cool skeleton keys to get in your room. You don't see those anymore. Oh, cool. I'm jealous. You should be. It's nice and a great restaurant too. Alrighty, we're heading into the friendly confines of downtown Marion, Virginia. 
friendly combo. Oh, that sounds good. They say that about Wrigley Field or something. Oh, okay. Anyway, we like Marion. Yes, we do like Marion a lot. There's a lot of things that we like about Marion, actually. Yeah. One thing is that it's the county seat of Smith County. I'm just kidding. Mount Pleasant Methodist Church. Yes. Uh, Ebenezer Lutheran Church. That's a catchy name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it just rolls off the tongue. You know, th this downtown area is very old. It, it it's, is. It's puts you in mind a little bit of Abbey. Yes, it does. Which I'm sure it is. It is very historic, too. Yeah. Um, up on the left is the Smith County Courthouse. And I believe that that is the place where the crying tree was, which is a story I'll get into. Yeah, yeah we'll backtrack and tell that story in a minute. Yes. To the left is the Francis Marion Hotel, and then we also have the Lincoln Theater. Mm -hmm. To the right, one of our favorite places, McAdoo's. Yeah, it's coming on up. Yeah. yeah, it's in the old post office. Yeah, right there to the right. Speaking of the Francis Marion, that is who the town of Marion is named after. Yes. There's also back there a mural of Mountain Dew because Mountain uh, Marion claims to be the actual hometown of Mountain Dew. I know that Knoxville makes this claim, but apparently Marion says that they have the formula that was actually used. Yeah. It's funny that's very reminiscent of Rural Retreat and Dr. Pepper. Like, there's right. people battling out over that birthplace, too. So, mm -hmm. but we'll just go ahead and claim it for our area. That's exactly right. And somebody has to prove us wrong. So, the population of Marion is 6,000 in 2020. A little bigger than I would expect it. Well, hear me out here. There's 9,000 more that has the Marion zip code. So really that's like 14,000. Holy smokes. That, yeah, have a Marion zip code. It's much bigger than I thought. Oh yeah. To the left was the Happy's restaurant, Happy's Pizza. It was iconic. There was an out of towner that was driving too fast on I-81. Police chase, he ran into the building, totally destroyed it and that iconic building came crashing down. Oh, that was a very painful yeah. thing for this town, for sure. Yes, it was. Very emotional. It's like an old train depot that they've reconverted. Mm -hmm. I always love that building. The old train depots are so cool looking. Yeah, they've done a good job of retaining most of their historic buildings, too. Yeah, they well, actually, have. I said they about crashing into Happy's, but that wasn't their fault. Right. Well, and they were right on it. I mean, they tore it down, whereas a lot of towns would have left it in yeah. shambles for a while. Oh. oh, pizza perfect. I don't know that how long it goes back, but I hear a lot of good things about that place. I've never ate there, though, have you? I don't think I have. But I have ate at this KFC. I have too. <laughs> it used to be a tradition, which we're going to talk about in a minute, I guess, on Great Mother's Park. Yes. But before we'd go, we'd go get a big bucket and head over there, family reunions and we so forth. We used to do that too, and also Arby's up here, get different food from different places and take it down to Hungry Mother's. I know you're a big believer like I am that different locations are so much better, but this Arby's is one of the better ones. It is a good Arby's. I'll give you that. So this is the more commercial end of town, coming up onto Ingalls and Walmart and that sort of thing. Yeah. Also up here on the left is where you turn to go to Hungry Mother's Park, um, the old hospital, which is now part of Emory and Henry College. Yeah, they've made a huge upgrade to that place. Oh yeah, it's like their pre-med part, yeah. I guess. So. The drive-in, Park Place drive-in. Oh yeah. Here we go with the Walmart. It's so funny because this one used to be a huge hangout for people cruising and so forth. It's, oh yeah. Like I, said, I don't even know if they cruise so much as sit in the parking lot playing music and. Right. And it's just it's funny how we're a little small town Saturday night. You know? I know. And running toward the new hospital down this way. Yes, the new hospital is up this way on the left. Okay. Mi Puerto. I've ate there. 
Mm-hmm. Ana too, that's a really good Mexican restaurant. Yeah, yes. Well, somebody's crying over there. It's just such, so, so sad to see. Yes. But yeah, let's, I guess we'll do intermediate school. Yes. And it's being torn down. I think I read that it hadn't been in use in like 12 years. So, yeah. and it was, began demolition today. Wow, we got here on the very day of demolition beginning, so. Yes. I guess next time we drive through, it'll be gone. That's right. So this may be the last look anybody will ever have of this place. Yep, exactly right. Boy, that's sad. Half gone already. We'd walk it further, but we're kind of combed off, so. Yep. Hopefully. Maybe this will bring back a few memories for some folks from the area. Hope so. Man, it's sad. I always hate to see that. I understand it, but I don't like it. Either. Same. Same here. Alrighty, this is pretty infamous around here, isn't it? Wouldn't you say? It is, yes. It's the, what is it called now? Southwest Virginia Mental Institution, I think. Sounds good to me. I don't really know. All I know is that back growing up, I don't know how many people I'd heard say about themselves, they're going to have to take me to Marion. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard that same thing about Radford, too, with St. Albans. But yeah, anytime that I said that I had family in Marion, they they would, you know, make mm. comments yeah. about this. and But it's actually a great thing. There's not enough mental health resources around no. here. So this is one that we have. It's actually a treasure, but yeah, it doesn't have that necessarily the reputation for that, but yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. So we had to show it. Yes. Now, this is a pretty drive, isn't it? It is very pretty. Very pretty old building. Yes. Don't see designs like that too often anymore. No, you don't. But you're going to see it right now thanks to the good folks with Royal Appalachia. That's exactly right. Shane and Melanie. That's exactly right. So, so this is administration oh, this is the part of the mental hospital. That's what I call it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, very pretty building well, it's pretty, there. very regal. It is. Well, shoot, I wish somebody would take me to Marion if this is what it's about. There you go. I thought it was a threat. Now it looks like a joy. Mm, I still don't think you want to go there. But if you do, I can admit you. I thought we'd throw you a little bonus action here with the view. Yeah, that's this gorgeous. Is gorgeous. I'll be looking at the downtown area. Especially with the sunset. <laughs> Somebody doesn't think so. Well, I think it's tears of joy, honestly. It's <laughs> I think so. Move to tears. <laughs> All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at Marion, Virginia. Yes, and we are standing in front of this nice little bridge here. It's the King Bridge Food Park now, so pretty neat. And then to the side of us is where the Happy's Restaurant was. I know that holds a lot of good memories for a lot of people. So, yes, we hope that you have enjoyed this video and haven't minded us being rusty too much. We haven't oh. minded ever. We're <laughs> yeah. kind of used to it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's good for us to get back out on the road. Though, it sure. is. It feels good. Yes. So we will see you guys on down the road.